Okay, opening. I want to get a little hole in here. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm done by cutting it in half. I don't want to have my elbows floating. I want them up against my sides, just like centering around my legs. I've got my two thumbs. I'm going to put them right next to each other, not apart, touching, firmly touching each other. I rest my fingers loosely on the outside, and I'm going to slowly push them down in that special spot right in the center and make a little divot. And I'm going to put a little water in there. I'm going to kick it up. This is not as fast as it was for centering. And I'm going to slowly push them down. Right down the center. I don't want to push them in like this. I want to push them in with my thumbs together. Here, I'll turn like that. And on the next one, I'll show you how to check it with a pin tool. You want the bottom to be about as thick as your walls are going to be. So maybe a quarter, three-eighths of an inch to start with. That is called opening. The next thing is called pulling a floor. And I'm going to show you a way how to do it where I put my hand like this. It's just sitting there feeling stillness. And then I take my two bowling fingers here, and I'm going to pull them towards the outside. And I just want the bottom to spread some. I don't want the hole in the top to get any wider. So I push them out like this. And as I do that, I want the floor to become flat. And I can feel it better than I can see it. Again, the clay has to be wet. You're better off using too much water rather than too little. And on the outside fingers like this, I pull it out until my floor on the inside is about yay wide. Yeah? Like that. That is opening. And then I go back and I check and I feel and I make sure the floor is flat. If it's not, I go in and I flatten it, and I'll run my finger across it a couple of times, which helps prevent cracks. I'm going to wipe up the extra water and all the slop. That is opening. The next thing is called pulling the walls. And the first pull is not very hard to do. It's really pretty easy. I really don't think of it as a pull, I think of it as a wall evening, because right now I've got like a donut riding on a thin little wall near the bottom. So I put my fingers on the inside, and they are opposite each other. I'm using this finger, or these two, or these two, whatever is comfortable, right up against the other one. I'm not like this, where this one is over here and this one is over here. They're turned around, and it can be a little bit uncomfortable, and I have my hands touching together. Keeping your hands touching together is a powerful way to be because it keeps them from wobbling. And I slowly set them right opposite each other up against the wall, and I slowly raise them up, keeping them the same distance apart. And when I do this, I pivot on my elbows, and I will do a video of my elbows. When I get near this top, I let them run around once or twice and I take them off slow. How hard do you squeeze? I don't squeeze. I keep them the same distance apart. If you learn to do it that way, it becomes much easier to learn to get the walls even. Anything that involves changing the way you squeeze is the wrong model. You keep them the same distance apart. So I put them down here, I'm going to push out with the inside hand for the second pull. And then I'm going to slowly raise them up, keeping them the same distance apart. And when 
when I get up near the rim, I'm going to let it run around once or twice, and I'm going to slowly take them off. So we call these cylinders, but really, at the beginning anyways, they're cones. You want to pull your hands a little bit in, a little bit towards the center, so that it doesn't spread out, so it's not straight up and down, so it's a little bit like a cone. You want to get the gum off the top. There's the gum. Take your hands off slow every time you touch the clay. So, let me open this one up so we can see what it looks like. And we'll probably see that it's imperfect. Everything is, but when it's the first thing you've thrown in six months, it's often more imperfect than you would like. So you get the thing under there and I'm going to pull it up. Hey, wow, if you do something like that in your first week here, take a picture of it, send it to Lewis. He'll be happy. So as I was pulling this up, I had my hands apart like this. And I just slowly let them travel up. And that's what made it come up. Bottom's too thin. Okay, so now you want to put another piece of clay down. This is dry clay on the wheel. Don't get it wet. Just let it be there. Take your next piece of clay, keep the bottom of the clay dry, and put it down on that wet piece of clay. Last time we opened like this. This time I'm going to open with a different technique. Once you decide on one, stay with it for a while. This technique